Right, so hello everyone on YouTube. I'm gonna do another recording here live and this time it's not regarding a question from a viewer, but rather an interesting experience I've had. I've been playing on, I used to play on pad when I started out with Tekken and then in 2005 I converted to arcade stick. And that's what I played on for 15 years. Now that's a long time uh, to do anything, but the last two weeks I've been playing on pad again regularly, every stream, many hours on it, with all of my you know typical characters who do require uh, quite a lot of execution, like Kazuya, Geese, you know, Armor King. It's insert any of my typical characters here, and I've just noticed something that is so interesting. Very quickly, I noticed that, oh my god, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm playing better defense. I don't have as good movement as I have on stick, you know, which, which is part of defense, obviously, but my defense is better. What, what is this? My punishment proficiency is better. I'm, uh, I'm punishing more moves, more reli reliably than I used to do on stick. Uh, and I'm ducking highs pretty much all of the time in strings, you know, and punishing them with twin pistons. Stuff I would do quite a bit on stick, but nowhere near as effortless and uh, seemingly organic as I do it on pad. And I understood but this was, and, and this, I actually, you know, I felt this and I was like, you know, I, I've been doing this for a long time. I understand when something's happening. And I, I, I wondered and asked myself, I wonder if this is going to be reflected in the stats, you know, the player stats we have access to since season three. And lo and behold, my defense stat has gone from B to A. My combo damage has gone down. You know, I'm at A plus now with combos. It's not S plus. So I, I've seen an effect there due to my execution is not as good on pad. I just can't do the, you know, classic main man stuff. But my defense is better. So the, the stats actually reflected what I had felt. So what is this? It's actually a combination of factors. But one of them, uh, on a pure technical standpoint, is that pad is fucking faster than stick. Um, it, it's definitely not, it's not as good if you want to do quarter circles or circles or if you want to wave dash quickly. I don't think this is as fast or, or, you know, organic. But in terms of very quickly just pressing a button, you know, a directional input... This is very, very fast and lends itself extremely well to quick movement like dashes or just ducking very quickly, you know, spotting a low. But usually I might not uh, duck every time on stick. You know, it's 24 frames in speed. But on pad, I get it that more often. You know, or, th or those ducks, you know, reacting to a mid-high string getting the duck on the high and then slapping them. Uh, it, it's just faster. And also on, on a technical standpoint, binds, you know, these scrub binds are actually very effective in Tekken. Because where most fighting games allow for a couple of frames of buffering, you know when you hit, want to hit one plus two at the same time? Most fighting games give you a lot of leniency from hitting the one to the two. But Tekken is incredibly strict and has always been. So in this game, when you, want, when you think you hit one and two at the same time, many times they don't hit on the exact same frame and you get a one, you know, or a two. That doesn't happen in other fighting games, but it happens in Tekken. So actually having all of these four binds in Tekken is actually a great thing for consistency. Uh, it's really nice. But on a more important point that I have noticed is that when I play stick, I more often go into autopilot mode and do what I usually do rather than being on this, I'm just super aware 
and I'm just looking at my opponent and I'm like, what is he giving me and how can I defend against this? That's my mindset. Whereas when I play on stick, I so quickly go into the classic, I should be backdashing. I should be backdashing. And I always try and do quick, fast backdashes just for the sake of backdashing. Even when sometimes it's not the appropriate thing. It would be better to just block. But I, I gotta backdash, you know, because this is how we play Tekken. Gotta back. And it's all auto autopilot. It's not about what's good for the specific situation or what is my opponent feeding me in terms of, you know, um, attacks or whatever, or play style. And, uh, and also on stick, you know, I want to get the cool launcher, you know, into big damage because that's fun and that's cool. But I don't do that on pad. I'm much more focused on defense suddenly. I'm not just backdashing all the time on autopilot because that's what I usually do on stick. That's the type of gameplay I've learned on stick. I think on stick, I got caught up in the technical, just to be technical aspect of a game. Don't get me wrong, I've always tried to win on stick and play well and have good punishment. But somewhere deep down in my DNA, I've gotten ingrained this backdash, backdash, do this, move like this. And it's hard to break out of it. Even if you think you're very aware, it's hard to break out of that muscle memory in your hand that just wants to backdash all the time. So this, there's a new mindset that is more defensive. If you watch me play Calcium Pad, I move quite a bit, but a lot of the time I'm just holding back. And then with the speed of input, I can see very clearly now all of these strings and their holes. Duck them, or when I get a punishment opportunity, again, my mind is there and ready, and I punish properly. Uh, and my low parry consistency is very high. It's like I've, I've just... Uh, it's like, I love stick. I love playing on stick, but... And I never for a million years thought that I would do better on pad, considering I'm nowhere even close in terms of execution on pad. But I'll be damned, you know, I play better on pad. I, fi I just find it so interesting how much it can hurt you. Muscle memory and autopiloting and habits that are so ingrained in your DNA that even if you think you are aware when you play, you cannot see that you are just backdashing for the sake of backdashing. It doesn't apply to the match or the situation in the match right now, but that's what we usually do. You know, or throw electrics into electrics. Um, it's, I, I just find it so incredibly interesting. And to me, it just reinforces the idea that I've had for a long time, that you should try different controllers. I mean, I've been playing on different sorts of sticks. I've tried keyboard. I've played a lot of Mixbox. I really like it. It's so accessible. And I've played some pad, but when I, when I actually devoted a couple of weeks to this, it allowed me to see something different in myself and my play style and how I like to approach the game. And I honestly think a lot of what we do in these games are tied to the controllers. And uh, yeah, this just, uh, it's a completely different main man on this than I am on stick. Main man on stick is way more aggressive and way more caught up in like technical flowcharts. But main man on stick is on pad is much more aware. Doesn't move crazy. Nowhere near the movement. I can't even Korean backdash on this. But I still have way better defense. And that also tells you to not get uh, caught up in uh, getting the fastest backdash in town. That's not going to give you the best defense in town. But it certainly will help your defense. 
Um, so yeah, uh, try different controller, guys. I think that can, all, that can just help us all tremendously. Try different controllers and give them a couple of weeks. Don't give them two days. Uh, and see if, uh, you know, the, the particular controller you're, you're trying at that time, if that actually uh, brings out something positive out of you and your play style and your approach to the game. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if that's going to help anyone else, but uh, to me it was super interesting and uh, yeah, it, it taught me something. Uh, I, did, uh, I did not think that suddenly playing pad would uh, have such a huge effect on how I approach the game. Uh, but I certainly learned something, so if this can help someone else, would be great.